all my recipes here again welcome back to my kitchen today i'm going to teach you the basic things you need to know to cook things from scratch i'm going to teach you three different ways whatever way you choose is no right or wrong you're going to get the same results so vamos a empezar you only need beans any kind do you have for one cup of beans you'll need four cup of water a quarter of onions two garlics and half a tablespoon of salt if you choose to cook the beans in the stove you will need a pat with the leaf very important Oh, you can cook it in the slow cooker. Okay, so let's talk about beans. I have different type of beans here. I have pinto beans here. I have peruano and I have black. And it's a lot of different type of beans. Whatever beans you have uh, at hand, you can cook these beans. It's the same step to cook beans. So the first thing we're gonna start is by checking the beans. They don't have any, any rock. So I'm gonna just put it in here. And you can probably switch it this way to see if there's no rocks or any things that don't look good. I mean, I'll take this one out. What I usually will do like that, and then shake that it's no rocks. So this is, make sure that this doesn't have any. And then until you're done with the beans, I like this one, we can eliminate this is broken. I'm done cleaning my beans, and this is what I got from my beans. Luckily I didn't get any rocks, but maybe sometime you will get some. So that's why it's important to search for rocks or anything. I have three different beans. I'm gonna cook the three different beans, but the step will be the same. The concept is the same concept. When you smash it with a line squeeze, it is very easy to peel. I'm gonna start by cooking my pinto beans. These pinto beans, I'm gonna cook it in the slow cooker. So to this thing that I already clean, and I'm gonna just rinse it up, and I'm gonna just put it here, and then bring it to my sink, and I'm just gonna rinse it really well. If there's any dirt or anything, so you wanna make sure you just wash it really well. So I already cleaned my beans, my beans are really clean, so I'm just gonna put it in here. And it's not that many, I only cook in one cup because I'm gonna show you three different ways to cook it. So that's why I'm only cooking one cup. But one cup make you two cups, so if you wanna make it more, you can double. I need one cup of beans and four cups of water. And I'm gonna just gonna be pouring in here. And most of all, you don't need to have the water exactly the measure, but you do have to have plenty of water because the beans they can spin. As you can see, it's a little beans, but it has plenty of water, you see. And that's basically you need plenty of water to give the uh, chance to the beans to spin with having enough water. To this point, this is pretty so simple to cook the beans. If you want to want to be washing the, baby, uh, the beans or whatever, something so easy, just come and put it in a slow cooker and let it cook. I'm going to just add two garlics. A quarter onion, cover. I'm gonna cook it in high because I wanted to cook it in a short time, but you can uh, leave it, you can cook it uh, in low through the whole day. And we're gonna leave it like that, and then I'll come and show you in a couple hours, see how it looks. So we're gonna move to our next recipe, one, our next way to cook, which would be soaking overnight. And here's another way. This one is, uh, I soak it overnight. As you can see, the beans already has spin. It's not run or ride. A lot of people ask me soaking overnight. Yes, you can. So this is the one I already soak it overnight. Me, personally, when I soak it overnight, I don't like the water, so I drain it. Again. And rinse it off. Even though I already rinse, rinse and them off, I like it better just to start with fresh water. This one they already spin. This is how many they're gonna be. The only benefit that you get about this one, uh, soak it overnight, is it takes a little less time to cook. That's the only difference. After this point, we're just gonna add the water and then we're just gonna cook at the same time. This one probably takes, uh, I'm not so sure because I don't usually cook it that way. Since I already have my beans ready, I'm just gonna add two garlics, a quarter of onions, and I'm gonna bring it to the stove. To this point, I'm gonna cook my beans like between 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna bring it to boil with them, and then after that, I'm gonna cover them up. Right now, I have a high heat, and I'm gonna leave it to high heat so to bring it to boil, but if you leave it to high heat and not cover, the water is gonna evaporate and they're not gonna cook. So for right now, I'm gonna leave it uncovered, and then I'll come in 20 minutes and then cover 
and lower the heat. This is the third way. I'm just cleaning my beans. I do not soak it overnight. I already rinse them, rinse them off, so they're ready to cook. They're ready to put on the stove. So I'm just gonna add my four cups of water. And remember, sometimes you guys have different shape of pan, more big and more small. The more important thing is you can have plenty water for the beans to cook. As you can see, you have probably like one inches higher over the beans. That's the more important thing. It's better to have more water than less water because when you're going to fry the beans, you can just eliminate the water. So to this point, I'm just gonna put my, uh, my beans in the stove. So after I cook, start putting cooking my beans, just gonna add my onions and my garlic. And remember, I, put, I choose to cook three different type of beans. I'm cooking black, I'm cooking pintos, and I'm cooking peruanos. Either way, it's the same process. To so this one, the same way. I'm gonna cook it in the me in medium heat for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes should start boiling, and then I'll come and cover them too. The salt, we're gonna add it almost to the end, maybe like five or 10 minutes, we just need to boil a little with the salt because if you add the salt right now, it make it a little bit harder to cook. about soaking and not soaking overnight. This one are soaking and it takes a little longer to boil. This one are black beans, but this one they not soak overnight. So this one is already boiled. This one hydrated overnight and this one is hydrated right now. So this one is already boiled. What I'm gonna do to this point, it's already boiled and I don't wanna evaporate the water and don't have enough water to cook. So I'm gonna lower my stove really low. My stove, this one, when I cook it in this one, it starts kind of boil all over. So I'm going to switch it here in the little one. And I am going to put a number, between number three, and just going to put it there. What I'm, I'm going to cover. What I do want it is just to still boil, but not, you know, not splashing all over. Boil enough to cook. And this one, we're going to wait until boil, so before we cover them up. So I spent 20 minutes since I cooked my beans. Just gonna cover them up and lower my heat really low. You know, like sometimes when you have the beans covered and it's, the heat is too high, you will know because it starts flushing all over. And we do not want that one because we don't want to make a big mess. My beans been cooking for one hour and 10 minutes. This is the one I soak overnight. The last thing that I need to do this one is just to put half a tablespoon of salt and let it cook for five more minutes. That'll be it all. So as you can see, my beans are really soft. They do cook a little faster when you soak it overnight. So to this point, my beans been cooking with the salt for five minutes. So as you can see, they're done. So to this point, I'm just gonna turn it off. You can eat it the way they are right now, but this is just a step to cook it so you can fry. So this one completely cook. The done. This one is still need like 30 more minutes. So this one it takes fully to cook. It takes uh, one hour and 10 minutes. That's it. So while we come back when we come with the other ones, my beans been cooking for one hour and a half. As you can see, they still have plenty of water. I don't add any water because I cook it in the low heat, low heat. So it has plenty of water. So I'm gonna add my half a tablespoon of salt and let it cook for another five minutes and they'll be done. Cover back again for five minutes. Okay, so I've been cooking my beans for five minutes with the salt, so they're done. Turn it off, and as you can see, it has plenty of use, and I have this one too. So now that I have most of my beans cooked, so I'm gonna show you another trick. So I had them both here, and as you remember, I put the onions. I'm gonna remove the onions boss I don't need the onions and I don't need the garlic they already released the flavor if you choose to leave them you could leave it but if you don't you can just remove it I just wanted to give you an idea on my beans and the slow cookers so I've been cooking this one for two hours and this is how it looks but also remember I'm cooking it in high heat because I wanted to cook it like in four or five hours. So if you want to cook it in long the whole day, you just put it in low. And that's just how it look after two hours. So we come back when it's done. Since some of my beans are already done, I'm gonna share the way that you can eat the beans. They really, it's nothing like French beans. And uh, I'm gonna eat it with fideo. For those one that is not whether it's fideo, it's a soup. And I already have a recipe. You can look at some of my recipes. 
So uh, what I added, I love to eat fideo with beans when it's just cooked the beans. What I do, I have my fideo here and I'm just gonna add some cooked fe uh, beans or just fresh beans. Oh, this is kind of my favorite. It's, something, it's very affordable and very comfort. So I'm just gonna add a little piece of cheese. This is a uh, fresh cheese. You can add any cheese you like. And I'm just gonna eat it like that. For me, it's, I, I find that this is very delicious. But I'm gonna talk about beans. Beans, you can make it many different ways. This is just something simple if you wouldn't wanna fry beans. The way that I have my beans like that, they already cook like that. You can fry with uh, chorizo, you can fry with bacon, and you can add jalapenos, you can add anything you want. But I just walk you through the first step. For this tip, you can make magic. You can make it different ways. And don't forget to check my fideo recipe. It's been four hours since I started cooking my beans, so they are done, they are soft. So it's time to add the salt, and I'm gonna add a uh, half a tablespoon of salt. As you can see my beans, this is how it look after four hours. But I'm cooking in a high set, so look. I'm just gonna let it another 10 minutes, so just so that way the salt get into the beans, and then we'll be back. And as you can see, they have plenty of water, they, they are soaked, so you can just test it if they want to soak. As soon as they soak, they're done. So it's been 10 minutes since I put the salt in my beans, so to this point I'm gonna just turn it off and they're ready to eat. Don't forget to not add in the salad, because if you don't add the salad, it tastes horrible. <laughs> they're ready to eat. To this point, I already walked you guys to all the basic steps that you guys need to cook things from scratch. When you have your beans like that, you can make mash or you can make it taste a lot of different ways. You can add whatever you guys want. Also, the beauty about this thing, when you have the beans like that, you can keep it, the beans in the refrigerator until the three to four days. That's a good thing. And I decided to bring you guys this recipe because it's very easy and very affordable. So we're going to very difficult times to this time. Um, I know you guys have been watching a lot of uh, my video about how to make beans and you guys have a lot of questions. So I hope I answer all the questions in this video. Please be safe. Until next time, adios. Mm -hmm.